Recently, I heard something that rather surprised me. A patient whom I'd already treated told me that her mother had been to see a local vascular surgeon and she had been told that foam sclerotherapy is dangerous because it causes strokes. And for that reason, he recommends that she have her veins treated by surgical stripping under general anaesthetic. Well, this is very surprising to me because actually the published evidence in the literature suggests the exact opposite. It suggests that foam sclerotherapy is very safe. In fact, the record is that foam sclerotherapy is very unlikely to cause a stroke. And in fact, the procedures under general anaesthetic are more likely to cause a stroke. So let me tell you the evidence. In the world literature, there have been only 13 cases of stroke after sclerotherapy. 10 of those people made a full recovery. So there are only three uh, cases of permanent disability caused by stroke after sclerotherapy. Two of those people, in fact, had liquid sclerotherapy, which has been used for decades and which is generally regarded as being very safe. Only one person in the world literature has had permanent disability following stroke caused by sclerotherapy. And when one considers how many sclerotherapy treatments are performed around the world each day, this is really a vanishingly small risk in my opinion. In France alone, one and a half million sclerotherapy treatment sessions are performed each year in a prospective registry of sclerotherapy treatments involving over 12,000 treatment sessions, no uh, cases of stroke were noted. A similar study in Britain of nearly 12,000 uh, sclerotherapy treatment sessions in just over 7,000 people, again, recorded no evidence of stroke. So to those who are concerned about stroke, following sclerotherapy, I would say be assured that this risk is very small indeed. And I regard foam sclerotherapy as being much safer in this regard than surgical stripping under a general anaesthetic.